Welcome to our latest look at King Under the Mountain, uh, last played this a few months ago, and but now it's updated to Alpha 2.2 and remains a RimWorld inspired game involving dwarfs! So let's continue this started game, uh, which is a bunch of lads all gathered together um, on a little a little stockpile here. Um, let's have a quick look at the map. We've got a uh, river over here, which is going to divide the map somewhat. We've got trees well over there. Oh, there's plenty, there's plenty of trees, that's not going to be a problem. And we've got mountains for days. Now, because they do need drinking water, I will, first of all, um, decommission this stockpile. Um, I'm going to move it over more towards... Well, let's do it... Let's set up camp kind of like over here, I should think. So let's, first of all, get a stockpile over here for general resources. And we'll put it there. And now they will get moving. I tend to play this at a quite a tough, a, a fast speed. Um, because it's not particularly like a peril-laden game. Oh, there we go. They went, they ran off for a while, and now they're coming back, back, back. I'm um, getting all the stuff. We've got a limited amount of uh, planks and stone to start with. A bit of tin and steel as well. Plus associate. A little bit of furniture as well. Uh, so we'll need to start building things like bedrooms or whatever. Well, let's start by chopping some trees down. Uh, chop. Although I've got quite a bit of wood. And we will need to set up some rooms, and you do this in this game you, by setting a zone first and then adding furniture to those zones. A prison architect rather than RimWorld. And so I might dig into here, or I might do is like um, repurpose this as a room. Why not? Although this is a very small area for creating a large dwarf fortress, but never mind. Let's first of all square this place off a bit. I'll probably add a little bit of wall action as well. Out of stone. I don't really want to waste time with... What I want to do first of all is make sure that we've got the ability to make more stone blocks. Which can be a killer if you don't get that set up. You get into a catch-22 where you need stone blocks to build a stone thing to make stone out of or, or whatever. But let's try... I think it's a masonry workshop that we need. So I'm just going to gratuitously use that bit of space there. Choose the furniture. Stone mason's workbench. Rotate it to... Let's, let's put it there. There we go. We should get moving soon now by bringing over some of these delicious stone blocks over here. Basalt blocks, apparently. So they will need to. They will occasionally run off to the river to actually get drinking water sorted. What I really want to do is get a kitchen. There's there's one drinking now. What I want to do is also get a kitchen sorted so we can actually even store water in barrels and do some cooking and all all sorts of things really. Producing two blocks. Yeah, so we are now got, we've now got the ability to make more blocks, which is very good indeed because we will need stuff. I'm also going to set up a little. Where, where was this? I, I can actually just choose this and then build it for this way. There's, there's more than one way to do a few of these things. I'm going to build a stone pillar there um, because in this game roofs can collapse in under the mountain and it can catch you by surprise, as we discovered in the last time we played this, with scenes. Scenes are plenty. Right, so let's build a little wall thing, kind of here-ish. So that'll be its own thing. It's a bit ugly. It's not quite the square room that I had in mind originally, but never mind. This isn't quite a full room, but it's not really a problem because we only need that one workbench in there. What I'm also going to do, I think, is make this into a carpentry workshop. I'm going to divide the room into two. Furniture. Let's put that there. Well out of the way. I also want to make sure that we get the bedrooms up and running as soon as possible, just so they're not sleeping on the floor, and they might get moody. Moody dwarves. Right, so let's mine out. The bedroom needs to be enough for seven. We can probably fit it in here. I mean, beds aren't very big. Probably put in another thing there. Let's also add a few doors. Stone door, eh? Oh, do they can do it there? Oh no, I just have to choose. I forgot to actually press press the actual door button. Right, so a few stone doors here and there. Since we have got now the ability to make our own stone. Oh, they've all fallen over and gone to sleep. Oh, an oaken plane. Ooh. Meanwhile, our basalt carpentry workshop is now producing five barrel staves. How peculiar. And we will need a kitchen next as well, so let's mine that out. That's going to be the bedroom. I've, I've, I've not got a plan for how to lay this out very well, you may have noticed. Nice big kitchen because there's a lot of equipment. 
that you can put in a kitchen. That shouldn't be too big. As I say, if you if you make too big a uh, too big a room, you can have a roof collapse, and we don't want that, do we? Right. So this is already. I tend to play this on a very fast speed. Um, we already have the bedroom all sorted, so let's uh, choose the right zone and furniture up. Do do do. There, seven. Plus a little lantern poos there, one there, and they're all getting very busy indeed. So I can also be adding a farm plot. I don't know if we've, how the seeds work in this. I it's been a while. Let's um, let's burn that there. Let's choose wheat. No, maybe not wheat. Let's choose some spuds. But as I said, we don't really have much in the way of seeds, so I don't know. Anyway, we now have the ability to, well, now the, now the mines happen, mining's happened, we now have the ability to put more doors in. If I can choose, actually choose the damn thing properly, there we go. You have to click twice. There we go. Have they all gone to sleep? Yes, they have. Apart from whoever's sleeping there who can't sleep there. You've got one hell of a beard. What, what are our lads called, anyway? Gunborn Colbuckle, Hilevi Eldersand, Helga Rufftooth, Unblackfall. Uh, Elvilda Indigo Hammer, Kleld Silverhead, and Folk Goldenvelt, the chef. Nice. Population 7. Right, good. All sorted. I don't like the way they use the bedroom as a thoroughfare, admittedly. That was probably a mistake, but never mind. Right, so they are busy crafting here and there. There we go. All automatic. There are no bills in this. And the mo so far, though, it isn't really, like, prioritising either. I want to build a bridge at some point because I want to be able to get over this goddamn river. Now we've actually got a source of stone. Uh, I made a mistake when I was practicing earlier by just like immediately building the, the world's largest bridge, which used up all the stone, which meant I couldn't therefore build a stone workbench so we could actually make more stone. It was chaos. Terrible scenes all round. So I'll make this out of stone, I think. And um, we'll make it here because that's not going to be very big. There we go. They are reasonably expensive bridges, but always good to have. Those trees are just ugh, in such a weird place. Right, let's cut them down. Cut, and also get all the wood from over here, because why not? Well, I'm not going to be using that much wood, I don't think, so I don't know. There's fishing rods. Ooh, they can go fishing. Surprise, surprise. Looks like there's a... It looks like they're berry bushes, but... We may be able to harvest those. Nope. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. So what is the food situation anyway? We've got, we've got. Oh yes, we've got to do the set up all the kitchen stuff, haven't we? I built all this, dug all this out, and never actually did anything with it. So let's kitchen up. Whoop. Choose furniture. First of all, I'll put a water barrel right next to the door, so they can fill that up easily enough. Uh, we've got a cauldron in storage, so we can easily put in a cauldron. And then there's a bunch of other stuff as well. I don't think we need a pillar for this room, but I'm going to build one anyway. I'm very nervous these days. And we can build other stuff. Kitchen worktop, maybe. Let's build that. There. Grist mill can go. Get a bit closer up. Grist mill can go there. Baker's worktop can go. Ooh, that's, that's a big lad. There. Oven. Hmm. There. I think we're all good. That's plenty of stuff. Right, so we've got a um, we've got that. We've got that. We we could do with getting. There's another. There's another room. There's a there's a, a sawmill as well, which I think we also really kind of do do need. So let's mine out some. In fact, what I might do. This seems a weirdly large. Oh, god damn it! I didn't actually mean to completely do that. Hang on. I'll replace it like that. But we also need a new sawmill. There it is. There. Furniture. Woodcutting bench. This is made out of stone, so we've got plenty of that. Oh, oh yeah, bollocks. They actually demolished the damn thing. Ha! Ah, it's a pain. Now it's all symmetrical, though, which is a, a plus. Right. Get that sorted. Is that a rolling pin? Oh, they've made a rolling pin! Presumably for the um the chefery that's going to take place at some point. 
Have they all gone to Kip? Yes, they have. All good. Well, I think we've actually set up the basics now, so that's all good. That's all rather lovely. This is my major production room, which I think I will, because it's really irritating, will make into a nice big square place. Then they can get around a bit more easily. We've got, we've got a pillar there, so we don't, don't have to worry so much about a roof collapse. All looking very nice. What other rooms do we need? A graveyard. Ooh. Let's have a little gravy graveyard. There. Oh, bloody hell, there's more than I thought. Grave. Just in case anyone dies. <laughs> I can't imagine they will, but you never know. I can be outside. Wonderful little cemetery there. Right, what other things do we need? A mushroom farm. I wonder if that needs to be indoors. Or under the mountain, whatever. It probably does. There are mushrooms around. We have to go hunting for them in caves. We don't really have many caves on this map. In some maps, that actually you get caves all over the shop. Might have to, there might be some hidden, I'm not quite sure. But in this one, there isn't any obvious one, so we won't be able to go mushroom gathering anytime soon, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Do, do, do. So let's not build that. Not sure what earthworks will be. Metalworks, yes, let's make a metalworks. That could be very useful indeed. For some reason. So as they mine that out, I'm just a little concerned about the food situation. Where are they going to get potatoes from? What have we actually got? We've actually got shitloads of stuff now. I really should have actually set up more zones, because we can build different sorts of stockpiles. Tools. Can pr Maybe we have a little stockpile there. That seems like a sensible place. Pantry as well. Since this is the kitchen... Well, it makes sense to actually have a little... Let's um, do yet more mining. Everyone's always asleep in this game. They're very sleepy dwarves. It's like the seven dwarves, and you've got sleepy, 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 sleepy. Uh, and for contractual reasons, dock. So let's make this a little pantry, kind of right here. A very little pantry. <laughs> Just a shit shape, but never mind. Uh, right, in the meantime, we can be making this little zone over here, which will be the metalworks room. Furniture here can be... Quite a lot of stuff. Oh wow, this is a lot of stuff. Coke oven. Bloomsbury furnace. That's not actually what it's called, but I'm going to call it that. And the forge. Oh my good god. That's quite large. And also, irritatingly, we can't actually rotate it yet, according to what it says in the top left. Um, okay, hang on. Let's change this. So the forge can go... Here, and the Bloomsbury Furnace, whatever it's called. Where the hell is this going to go? There. Chaos. This room's a bit cramped. Never mind. Let's bug in a lantern. Always like the lanterns. Right, okay, so now we've dug out that, we can turn it into the, the pantry. God, look at the shape of this! On the upside, our tools have all gathered together quite nicely. Um, unfortunately, we need a bigger stockpile for that as well. Well, I could start digging more stuff out for storage, so maybe that's some, something I should do. Uh, if I can just remember the key, there we go. So I'll have a... a what I might do is just expand that room anyway. Oh, they're so... Oh, so space... So space-lacking. Because I had to dig it out in this really tiny mountain. It's like a hill. Maybe like a hillock. In fact, it's barely more than a mound. It's flat! It's actually a concave. It's a valley. It's a hole in the ground. It doesn't even exist. Gah. Anyway, whatever. Mushroom! I think a mushroom has just grown inside our house. Ah. Well, we can harvest that. Not quite. Maybe they, maybe they were here from the start. They, they can't have been here from the start, because I dug this out, didn't I? Oh, maybe I didn't, no, I didn't dig it all out, though, did I? There was some. There was a little bit here when we got here. Ah, whatever. Always because it's ominously quiet when they've gone to sleep. It's all rather peculiar. There's a sandstone millstone there. Nice. And this is also... I think this is... Um, is, this, is this complete yet? Oh, this isn't quite complete because we need more steel bower loops. And I've got a horrible feeling we might need something else to actually make them. That needs sandstone blocks. And an iron anvil, but we got the iron anvil somewhere. Right, just right there. 
So I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with all this, whether that will ever get finished at this rate, but uh, we shall see. Are they actually eating at any point? I'm going to pause this because I'm a bit concerned that I haven't got any food. You, I'll select you. Well, apparently you have got food. I think they must be cooking. We're now not even looking. Which rhymes. Yeah, well, we'll allow this. Still a lot of stuff I need to actually work out. Barrels, they're making a lot of barrel staves. Got plenty of birch planks. We've got opal gems. Just lying about. Again, not quite sure exactly where they came from. Hmm, this field is looking so... Hmm. Is there anything else we've actually got? We haven't got anything in storage, have we? Apart from these bloody gems on it. We've got rock crystal gems. I'm going to set up a zone for granary. Let's go bung this anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. I'm going to see if anything... Oh, hello! Wheat! Uh, where the hell did they get all this stuff from, all of a sudden? They're just all s spontaneously... Uh, they must have been carrying it, mustn't they? They just spontaneously just bunged them all there. Let's see what we've got here, actually. Um, oh, it's mainly mushrooms. Tomato seeds. Ooh, tomato seeds. I forgot they actually did carry things. Right, so someone should plant out those tomato seeds. I got a horrible feeling. Uh, we should really divide this into two. Let's try this. Uh, I'm going to say two. I might even do more than that. Well, can we do this? Oh, no. It's not that clever. So that can be tomatoes. That can be... What else have we got? Wheat. So that can be a field of wheat. And unfortunately, purple helmet mushroom. Yeah. Unfortunately, all the rest are mushrooms. I'm not quite sure we can actually do mushrooms. No, that has to be a dedicated mushroom farm. Alright, so we've got, uh, we've got wheat and tomatoes anyway. So they can be planted at some point. Not quite sure where you get other seeds from, like carrots. Maybe just random what they actually carry when you start the game. I think that might be it. Alright, everyone's looking very industrious. I've just got a horrible feeling that some of these aren't going to resolve because we don't have the ability to make steel barrel loops, I don't think. We can make... We can furnish things. We can coke things. But I've got a horrible feeling this is... Um, well, that's tin ore. An ore crushing station. I actually don't know how to make steel. Maybe you make steel in the forge. Which should be possible if we have sandstone blocks. We seem to be making basalt. Well, we have got sandstone. I think we've just got to wait for them to actually um, make the sandstone blocks and then we'll be grand. And then hopefully we'll be able to get the steel, but... let's Well, let's bloody well hope so. Here is planting. They're busy getting wheat on the go. Progress towards harvest. 1%. Yes. Did they ever build this? Ah. Right, so they can't build this because there's a there's a bush in the way. And unfortunately, they can't get to the bush to remove it because it's on the wrong side. That's that's alarming because there's nowhere else we can actually build the bridge by the looks of it. It has to be on flat bits. We can build it there. Which seems to be a long way away from anything. We can build it there, I guess. I just, I'm starting to lose interest in building the bridge because I don't think we'd have... I don't think we really need it, but... Yeah, I'll do it. I think we have to do it kind of there. Oh, it's such a bad place. Oh, bloody hell, here they come. Here they bloody come. Also chop some of those things down, because they just look untidy. Nature is untidy. Balls to it. Right, so at least they're up and running with the wheat. However, the tomato plants don't seem to be being touched. Again, slightly alarming. What's that? Oh, sunstone. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's going to go to the words of the bridge, though. For some reason, they're not, they're not taking care of this lad over here. This, uh, the um, sandstone blocks. M waiting for more ore fuel to be available. Oh, ore fuel. Maybe we actually need to start mining hematite or whatever. I'm not sure if it's going to be hematite. Although there's no hematite. There's, there's, there's hematite. Yeah. Gain of a horrible feeling. Like when I did in practice games, I might have um, got the, started to build things in the wrong order. And I mean, I don't know if it's possible to actually do certain. I don't know. Well, we'll have to wait and see. See, otherwise things to be things seem to be going quite well. I mean, we, we appear to be. Yeah, there we go. We've now built the bridge. 
We've now also chopped down the, the birch, the silver birch. Someone's having a bit of a wander. Someone's on the wrong side of the bridge. What are you doing? Oh, you just went and removed that bit of... <laughs> Finally went and removed that. Actually, I, I think you can. Um, clear things. So, I, in theory, you can... Yeah, you can just do that. However, I wouldn't be able to get on the other side of the uh, bridge previous, the river previously, because I didn't have a bridge. Again, another little catch-22. Yeah, look, there we go. That proves that. Nice. As, no, as far as I can tell, there's no tutorial at the moment in the game, so you are a bit on your own when it comes to discovering certain pr um, problems with stuff. It's a little bit we <laughs> mm. This is the other thing. We just need one more steel barrel loop, and I don't think I can make any. Most alarming. We've got birch logs, we've got beach buckets. Maybe we should build more. I think I built these I built this barrel so they didn't have to run to the river to get the water, but it's so close, I mean who cares? Oh look, there we go, there's there's someone having a drink. Good old booze. I may expand a zone. What is it? What actually is that? That's a metal works. So just make that a little bit bigger. For reasons. No, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do this, I don't think. I, just, I don't know what, how to make ore fuel. But let's let's go mining a little bit, just to see what else we can actually mine out. Because we've got we've got a bunch of hematite. Well, let's see what's on the other side of the thing. We've got, we've got stuff here, which is galena ore. Sapphire gems. Spinal gems. Aquamarine gems, all sorts of things. Also, it looks like we've got... Looks like something to harvest over there, like um, looks like olives, an olive bush. Hmm. Nothing really much I can do with it though. Everything's getting very autumnal. Maybe it's because it's autumn. Yes. There's a rough stone floor there. It looks like things are. It looks like the berries may be like going on t onto ripeness or something. But as I said, I don't quite know how that all works. And they haven't touched the tomato seeds, which is alarming as well, because they're, they're literally just there waiting to be planted. But, uh, ah, we'll see. I'm just going to check what other um, rooms we we could make. Ah, oh, the feasting hall. I remember trying. I think that's this is what I was Alan doing in the in the previous video. We made a feasting hall that was too big, and it broke. But not this time. I'm going to put it awkwardly just there. It's not going to be a very big feasting hall. Not by our standards. We like a big feasting hall. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you've brought the um. You bought the Galena ore. Someone was carrying it and it was like as big as their body. It was... Scenes. Yeah, that's all mined out. I thought that was coal, but... I don't know if it's... I think there's coal in this game. I think it's just... There. Buy to luminous coal ore. I will mine some of that out. I'm not quite sure why. For the sheer fun of it all. It's a nice little compact colony, this. I like it. Still no use of pantry, though, weirdly. This is slowly but surely happening. But let's... Where's it gone? Feasting hall, there it is. Let's be... Come on. Mine it out. There. Furniture. Serving table. Let's make it there. Feasting table. This does have to be a great hall, doesn't it? Oh, chairs. Right. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> slight awkwardness. And uh, for tradition's sake, also invert a chair. Anything else? Cauldron. For all our slop. And a bit of water as well. For larks. Ideally, we'd have a lantern as well. There. A room fit for dwarves everywhere. Apart from the fact that it's not quite built yet, but we shall see. Now, this is actually coming along quite well. 37% grown. But yet again, I have no idea why those tomatoes aren't growing or being planted at all. Something's amiss there. I feel I could also add an extra door over here because it feels a bit stupid that they have to go all the way around. Also, if I planned ahead, I would have put the kitchen next to the feasting room. But hey ho. Can't. Win them all. Now we just need to add a few more doors. 
I've, yet again, I've got to remember to click it there, and then click it there. Hoink, hoink. Doors everywhere. Like me a door. There we go. Has anyone died yet? Because our graves are looking a bit empty. Sadly not. I mean, happily not. So I think technically they are starting to lack food a little bit. I've got to bed. And um, their stats are getting a bit lower. Let's just pause for a sec. Actually, they are still managing to find things to eat. Oh, she, you are, you're really unhappy. Very hungry. And also shares a bed with others. It is. It does get a bit... This whole barracks thing does get, their, get, get on their nerves. So, yeah, in the long run, I would actually look to give them separate bedrooms in the, in the classic Rimworld style. But yeah, I think um, food-wise, there is probably food around somewhere, but really we're waiting for the wheat harvest, I think, before things really settle down. Um, but we will stop here. I think that's given us a good taste of what's going on at the moment. Never did quite manage to square this particular circle. But I think you have to really build things in particular orders and make sure that there are certain things. Otherwise you do get maybe, maybe get stuck. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it just means I need to play around with this a bit more to try and get um, a, a bit more of a handle of what the hell is going on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do, as I say, do, uh, I've got a RimWorld series on the go at the moment, which is, uh, because it's modded, that's also very fantasy-based. Although that one's about elves rather than dwarves. And it does appear to be just turned into winter, so everything's dead. Oh, <laughs> which is a bit unfortunate, but never mind. At least the wheat's still going. At least we'll have bread. Better bread than dead. Right, so do subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when new stuff goes live, about all the latest alpha games, as well as the new releases all around. Uh, check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. Uh, link will be probably on screen, if not, in the description. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.